Apollo Router is our next generation SuperGraph runtime. We have enabled all the most important SuperGraph necessities in 1.0, some of which we'll show you today. The router is secure by default, and we recently underwent a, a, a thorough security audit by DoyenSec. The router is written in Rust, but adoptable without knowing Rust. And we have enterprise customers using it in production already today. So thank you all. How would you pronounce this word? Just how would you pronounce it? OK. All right, one other question. How would you pronounce this highway? Where, where do you get your kicks? Route, Route 66? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the song is Get Your Kicks on Route 66. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, a router, a router. Uh, anyways, so why develop the router? Well, we wanted a more approachable path to getting a deployment up and running. A simple binary has lower cognitive overhead than picking and maintaining a Node.js version and all of its dependencies. We wanted to have minimal overhead, so embracing a modular federated architecture should have minimal impact on your existing hard-earned latencies. We've seen the JavaScript gateway work well for a lot of use cases, but we wanted to have maximum control over system resources by using a lower-level system language. There are advantages to a SuperGraph runtime, but it's sitting in the position of a proxy. The router needs to process every request, and it needs to do so quickly and transparently to get those to the underlying subgraph deployments, which may have very critical SLAs. We found that putting a garbage collected runtime in front of a language like JavaScript in this position results in unpredictability. All that data moving back and forth will eventually need to get garbage collected. And when the garbage collector goes to work, everything pauses while that happens. Performance latencies drift, and you get inconsistencies. And then, we wanted to make sure that we had a strong foundation to build really exciting new features that will require even more computational work. Apollo Router supports router-based defer today, and that's one of the first of many features that we want to build. Of course, we want to make adoption easier. We've seen a lot of patterns from people doing the same thing over and over in Apollo Gateway, and we've learned from those. In many cases, we built ways for you to do those things right out of the box without writing imperative code. Uh, so it literally takes a few seconds to get started with the router, and it's really easy. You don't have to set up a project. You don't have to download a tool chain. You can use our download script and get going in seconds. You have three options available to you. Hopefully, you've heard of YAML and Rust, but you may not have heard of Rye before. Let's talk about YAML first. The common things that users want to do are all configurable by YAML. This means you don't need to create your own binary. You don't need to set up a project. You don't have to set up CI. And crucially, you do not have to employ a dev team to maintain that project. Rai is a simple Rust scripting language. It's relatively new. Most of you probably haven't heard of it before. But why did we choose Rai? The important thing to remember is that we're not writing a ton of logic in Rai. It's more like glue for Rust code. And that means that when we expose functionality in Rye, we are actually exposing super fast Rust code under the hood. It also means that there is no garbage collector to deal with, so no weird P95s when the garbage collector is kicking in. And because Rye is a scripting language, it has many of the same advantages that YAML configuration has. No custom binary, easy upgrades, update your script and reload your router to see your changes immediately. As you can see, it's pretty simple. And it's, crucially, it's going to scale better than YAML, at least for simple business logic. The router has a plugin architecture that we used for all bundled functionality. And that same plugin API is available to you to create your own plugins. Running the router is even easier than running the gateway. The Apollo gateway is absolutely horizontally scalable. But it depends how far down the horizon you want to look. The router lets us efficiently use all the CPU and memory that you've allocated to it. If you give it 16 CPUs, it'll use 16 CPUs. And if you give it 32 gigs of memory, great. It's happy to use it. And here are the scores on the doors. Here we have the gateway running our nightly performance tests. And you can see at 100 RPS, things are starting to go sideways. In addition, we had to run a total of 15 gateways to get this performance. The router, on the other hand, looks very different. Not only is it able to achieve 40 times the throughput 
at low latencies. But also, this is a single process, and it's able to fully saturate the hardware. The good news here is the router has all the same integrations with Apollo Studio that the Gateway had. So if you have a spike in traffic at 10 a.m. on Tuesdays, for some reason, you'll know when that happens, and you'll know which operations to look at. And if latencies increase from the profile page specifically, you'll know where that happened. And because the router supports tracing all the way down to the field level, you can see exactly which fields are causing those queries to be slow. Of course, there are other application performance monitoring platforms out there. Open Telemetry enables us to cover all of the major players in this industry. And that means you can set up alerts, collect log events, and view traces in the APM of your choice. So we have you covered through observability. But what happens if you don't want to do any of this? Well, if you're looking for the opportunity to, uh, to avoid running the router yourself, uh, Apollo Router is at the core of our new Graph OS offering, which includes a 100% serverless cloud-native option. And we can run the router for you, facilitate upgrades, and take care of the scaling for you. And in the future, we'll add even more functionality so you can get the most out of your SuperGraph without taking on the extra, extra complexities. So thank you very much. Appreciate you joining us today. Have a great rest of your afternoon.